I would like to start with my personal highlight for the year, he Ngākau Aroha to Matatini. An amazing event which allowed us to showcase our culture with the rest of New Zealand. Over 28,000 people attended, over 50% of those came from the South Island to see the best of kapahaka from within New Zealand. An amazing event for Naitahu, for Canterbury, for Te Waipuna. Once again, I am delighted to share with you a positive year-end result that saw the annual distribution rise to 36.6 million, which means a total of 355 million has been spent on tribal development since settlement. Our net worth is now in excess of 1.1 million. Fatu Manawa, organisational wellbeing, is the aptly chosen theme for this year's annual report. In our role as stewards of tribal health and wealth, we need to be sure that we are equipped to deliver the best possible outcomes for whānau. So what have we done in the past 12 months? Each Papati Pirunanga has received 360000 through to Pūtia Whakamahi, in total $6,480,000. Whairawa has reached a milestone with more than 20,000 whānau members now signed up. Over 1 million distributed in Komatua grants. Over 400,000 spent on implementation of the Matauranga strategy. $409,375 spent on Kaputia grants and scholarships. Our spend on out-of-school tuition, $226,054. Naitahu Fund, 104 projects received a combined total of $725,621. Our Marae Development Fund, over $1.4 million allocated this year. 2016 will be a milestone for Auraki Bound as we celebrate 10 successful years in March. Over this time, 243 participants have completed this life-changing course. As we flagged in 2014, our internal focus is firmly on the development and implementation of initiatives that grow the potential of our whānau and their communities. In particular, we are implementing our tribal economy strategy, Matauranga strategy and growing our iwi capability. The Tribal Economy Strategy is about building strong, vibrant and economically successful communities. We have shifted our mātauranga focus from provision of scholarships to supporting lifelong learning of whānau. This includes channelling resources to support individual papati pūrunanga to champion mātauranga in their communities. Some wonderful talent has been emerging from our various iwi capability programs not least of all the Matakahi Cadetships and Manawanui Associate Director Program. Working with external partners, we continue to support programs such as Hetoki Kitarika and Hetoki Kitamahi. Over 1,000 Māori enrolments since 2012. Whenua Kura, 11 graduates directly employed on the Naitahu farms and 8 diploma students working on the farms during holidays. In the environment space, we have been working closely with Papati Purunanga to strengthen regional influence and support submissions and evidence. Ngamata Pono Kitawai, protecting our interest in water, has been at the forefront of our engagement with the Crown in recent years. Our goals include ensuring better water quality in a framework that will empower our Papati Purunanga to be at the table making decisions about their local waterways. I must say it feels good to be back in a fit-for-purpose workspace and reunited with Naitahu Holdings Group. Being under one roof provides a stronger sense of connectivity and kotahitanga for us all. In closing, I would like to extend my thanks to all who have participated in the great year we've just had. To my fellow governors, to the directors of our boards, to our management, to our staff of Te Runanga Naitahu, to our Papati Purunanga, to our Papati Purunanga members, to our Naitahu Whanui, my heartfelt thanks to you all for your contribution to a great financial year. Nō reira, e te whanau, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, a tēnā ratatou.